Have you ever wanted to see what you hear? Well, so did mathematician, musician, pianist, and founder of USC's Music Computation and Cognition Laboratory, Elaine Chu. Her program, Muse Art, lets us see music theory come to life in real time while creating intriguing Calder-esque geometric design. Hi, Elaine, how are you? Hello. Tell me a little bit about what this program is, Muse Art, it's called. It helps visualize music, right? Well, Muse Art works on the principle that seeing is believing. For composers, performers, theorists, it can be used to analyze the theory behind a piece of music and perhaps even change the ways that we perform it. For non-musicians, Muse Art gives us a way to become informed listeners and to open our ears to hear new things in the music. How does it function? Well, the simplest way to break it down is that Muse Art tracks the tonal structures of the music. And the tonal structures are really what gives Western music its feeling, whether it's feeling happy or sad, tense or relaxed. When the music is really tense or really unstable, the paths are all over the place. They make huge jumps. So when the music sounds really comfortable, perhaps even predictable, then the paths are tightly circling around in a comfortable little space. What about when we delve into the music that will be on this LA Philharmonic concert, the Paganini Rhapsody by Rachmaninoff? Uh, the most interesting thing about Rachmaninoff's Rhapsody is that Every single one of those 24 variations are based on a theme built on a very simple tonal structure. It is like a, a painter having to create a piece of art from just two basic colors. Let's jump to the most famous portion of this Rhapsody, the uh, 18th variation, which is just an incredible moment of extreme beauty and romanticism. How does he turn it into this lush moment? He really makes us work to get the payoff. I mean, the most unstable and wandering part, tonal structure-wise, occurs just before this beautiful love theme. Once we arrive, you won't be able to tell it, but the theme is exactly based on the original. Dum, ba -da 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 -dum, ba -da 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 -dum. It's just upside down and turned from minor to major. So this is the, like you say, the mirror image. It is. So everything that used to go down now goes up, and what used to go up now goes down. But fundamentally, it's still that basic, simple tonal structure. That's so cool. So for audience members walking into Walt Disney Concert Hall, how can we take what we've seen on Muse Art and apply that to how we listen? Well, I hope you will enjoy the music and perhaps bear in mind that sometimes beauty and creativity thrives in some of the simplest places. <laughs> <laughs>